IDing deciduous trees in the winter can be a challenge. However, there are characteristics that can help us to identify the trees. These characteristics include the bark, the buds and bud arrangement, leaf scars and leaf veins. Many of the trees in southern Ontario, at least the most common trees, have fairly distinctive bark. This tree here is an American beech. You can see the very smooth bark, which is quite distinct for this species. Black cherry trees have a very dark bark that is quite flaky, bark that we often refer to as burnt cornflakes. Notice the long, narrow strips of bark on this tree. This tree is ironwood, also known as hop hornbeam. The bark of the ash tree has small ridges that intertwine. It is often called the alphabet tree because you can see some letters such as X or A in the ridges. Sugar maple, a common tree in our southern Ontario forests, has chunkier bark. On mature trees, you can see the bark peeling off along the edge of the ridges. The honey locust tree has a very distinct profile. Its bark is also quite distinct with the large flat portions that you see here. In front of us here we have examples of a number of different twigs that I've taken from a different number of different species of trees. So you can see on first appearance how different they look so they really can be a good identifying characteristic. And just the, the first point to bring up is in similar to trees with leaves, we do look at whether the bud arrangement in this case or the branch arrangement is opposite or alternate. The ones on the left here, you can see this branching here is definitely alternate. In this yellow one here, we can see the buds as we move up the twig are alternate. Likewise, this twig and the next two twigs, the arrangement is alternate. As we move further along our examples here, you can see on this one that the buds are actually opposite or pretty close to opposite. Similar with here, you can see the two little branches here and the buds at the end. It's hard to see whether the buds themselves are arranged opposite, but you can see the branching. And finally, in this final example, again, uh, the branching is opposite, but at each one of these locations here that I'm pointing to, there are buds or leaf scars on either side of the twig. So look at a little bit of terminology, and I have here a, a twig from a horse chestnut, and that's because this one is quite large, and so it's quite easy to see the features. So starting at the bud, so you can see here a rather large bud here, and this is called the terminal bud because it is at, at the end of the twig. Here you can see lateral buds. Down here again we see another two lateral buds. So again, terminal bud and lateral buds. So we can see here a close-up of one of the lateral buds that's here. You can see it, it's quite small, especially compared to that terminal bud that you've seen. But this whole area here is called the leaf scar. So this is where a leaf would have been attached uh, a few months earlier and has broken off. And each one of these little round circles here is a vein scar. So both the shape of the leaf scar and sort of the arrangement and the number of vein scars are identification characteristics when you are doing a winter tree ID. So another thing that guides may talk about is the pith. So the pith is actually the very center of the branch or the twig and the pith can change in terms of the shape and the color. So you can see this uh, small piece of twig here. The pith in the center there is quite dark. This next one here is, is white and this one here almost has a little bit of an orange ring around it. So again another factor that can help you with both winter tree ID and uh, in the summer too when there are leaves. At the point between one year's growth and the next annual nodes are formed.
So these are marked by a ring of bud scales or dead bud scales. So you can see uh, I have two examples here in front of you where there's these ring-like features here that circle the twigs and these would be annual nodes. So this would be another uh, feature that certain guides would talk about. So we're going to take a closer look at the buds now and just uh, looking at the different species that I have here in front of you, you can see how different the buds look in terms of their size and their shape. So you can see how they can be a very good identifying characteristics. So we're going to look closer at the bud scales because this is an important uh, characteristic also. So look first at this really long bud. This is an American beech and maybe hopefully you can see how many scales it has as we move up the bud. So it probably has maybe 10 different pairs of scales. The next one here, which is very tiny, and I looked at it through a hand lens, and you can see that it had four scales, but you can see how small it is, so sometimes you do need magnification. In comparison, the next bud is very large, and here you can see distinctly the scales, so it has a pair of scales at the very base. This next part is a, another pair here, and then just pointing out of the tip is another pair of scales. So this one actually has three pairs of scales. The next one here, this is a tulip tree, so it's a very interesting tree itself, but if you look at this terminal bud here, you can see this line going through it. So this one actually has two scales. Finally, as we go down, uh, we look at a willow here, and this one has one scale here. So really, if you look at, at one of these buds, it's, it's smooth, you don't see any lines at all there, so that one only has one scale. And finally, we have um, a witch hazel here, and witch hazel is interesting because its bud does not have any scales. So in, in a sense, the bud is not really protected at all by scales over the winter time. So looking a little bit closer at some leaf scars, you can see on, on this species here, you've got the small bud there, you've got the leaf scar that's almost a little bit of a U shape, and then right inside there, you can actually see a circle of the vein scars or a semicircle of the vein scars. This next one here, almost impossible to see without some kind of magnification. The leaf scar is actually here, right underneath the bud. Um, this is a maple and it would have three vein scars. All maples would have three vein scars. And finally, this one here, again, you can see the bud here, followed by the leaf scar under there. This one also has three vein scars. Again, probably pretty difficult to see that without any kind of magnification. So there are different books that have guides for winter tree ID. Uh, two of them I have in front of you, Trees in Canada is one that's used quite often, both for summer and winter, and it does have a key specifically for winter tree ID. And Woody Plants in Winter looks at shrubs and trees and uh, uses many of the characteristics that were mentioned in this video. Both of these books are available at the Ecology Lab of the University of Waterloo. There is also a Tree ID website by Natural Resources Canada. It is similar to the Trees in Canada book and may help with winter tree ID. The Ecology Lab has a video on how to use this website. We hope you found this ID video useful and good luck identifying trees during the winter season.